All right, good Thursday evening, everybody. Going to talk more about the rain coming in overnight tonight. Uh, there's no severe weather threat, although you may be kind of looking around on uh, social media, seeing severe thunderstorm warnings and stuff like that issued out west in Texas and Oklahoma. And a lot of times it's the case that we get storms coming in overnight and they are severe and they course originally out west but that's not going to be the case tonight we're going to get a lot of rain coming in it all starts to move in about after midnight or so you kind of see the future radar behind me uh, windy tonight too the high temperature for tomorrow is actually going to occur during the morning hours by noon we're going to be in the low to mid 40s in many areas so over the next four days behind the rain tomorrow it's just going to be a chilly weekend here. 51 Saturday, 49 Sunday, and then 51 only for the first day of spring. And I believe it's 424 in the afternoon, the equinox there. Uh, but overall, morning lows will be in the upper 20s Sunday and Monday morning too. So here's tonight after midnight, and this is a little delayed from earlier as well, so we may continue to see that. Here's the heavier rain coming in just after 2 o'clock in the morning. This will continue to move to the east. Occasional thunderstorms a possibility, but they won't be severe, and I don't think it's going to be terribly noisy. I don't think we're going to have a lot of lightning uh, and thunder throughout the night. Notice the winds picking up. They'll be sustained around 20, gusting to 30 miles an hour. This is 5 o'clock in the morning. The temperatures really haven't changed much at all here. Uh, so the morning commute, especially the early part uh, from Moulton, Decatur, Huntsville metro area to the east, will probably have a big impact from the weather. And then here comes the cold front. You can actually see it right here. I've drawn it in red, which typically we draw it in blue, but that's that's the cold front coming in and notice the big drop in temperatures and that's really going to be a shock to the system. So you, you wake up, you think, eh, I may be able to get away with wearing shorts today, but by 430, it is going to be cold. Now, some of you may not be too worried about the weather by the early afternoon hours, considering it is St. Patrick's Day and it's supposed to be a little on the chilly side sometimes, occasionally with a little wet and misty out there too, right? Uh, by noon, our temperatures are all in the 40s. Here comes the cold front just after 4 o'clock. We'll call it 420 here. Uh, north wind at 13, gusting to about 20 miles an hour, and the temperatures recovered just a little bit. Now, if you're going to be traveling, we've got kind of spring break, some com coming off of spring break this weekend, some of you going on spring break this weekend. And this is Friday, the severe weather threat ahead of this cold front. Notice it's well south of us. Now, Auburn, just south of Tuscaloosa, could have a few stronger storms. Uh, Auburn is back from spring break last week. They had an early one, and Tuscaloosa will be going off of spring break this weekend as well, and some area school systems kind of doing the same. It, it's all alternated, right? But again, be aware, if, you, if you're going down to the Gulf Coast, you have our First Alert weather app, uh, you can always have, make sure it knows your location, that way you'll get those warnings. The other thing I kind of want to focus on here is a lot of you go up to, uh, say, Gatlinburg, Knoxville, these areas here, tomorrow morning's going to be a very wet ride up that way. By Saturday, it's going to be okay. It's just going to be cold up there. It'll be a little bit colder there than it will be here. But it's after 7 o'clock, we start to see more showers and thunderstorms. And notice as we get towards 1 o'clock, here's where we have the stronger threat for storms. There may be a severe thunderstorm. Watch out. The tornado threat, oh, to be honest, looks a little on the low side, but uh, you never know. You could get something spin up. So overall, I want to tell you, even though there's a threat for severe weather along the Gulf Coast, it doesn't look to be a higher end type threat of severe weather. By 6 o'clock, notice it's all moving towards Panama City. And it doesn't cool off all that much down south. They're not going to see lows in the 30s. And initially, I thought maybe that would be a possibility. But that doesn't look like it's going to happen. As we get into Saturday morning, still uncomfortable. North wind there. The rip current risk goes up tomorrow on the Gulf Coast. And it starts to go down as we get into Saturday. And by Sunday, it should be okay. But water temperatures are only 70 degrees, so not a lot of people getting in the water. And around here, by the way, it's just going to be a cold weekend all around. So uh, we'll be talking more about this 10-day forecast over the coming days. Down the road, we do start to warm up a bit more. In fact, some 70s, but that only introduces the threat for strong to severe storms as we close out the month. So again, we're, we're just taking a break in severe weather. It's going to become a lot more active here, probably that 10th, 11th day out on the forecast. I have more coming up tonight at 10. I'm going to be taking the next few days off to celebrate some birthdays in the family.